Ten, we're live in Uvalde with new reaction from the families after state lawmakers released their report on the deadly Robb Elementary school shooting. It outlined multiple failures by officials. Four people gunned down at a department in northwest Harris County among the dead. Two 16-year-olds. Now, the sister of one of the victims is talking to ABC 13 and sharing an emotional plea to end the violence. Also, two people drowned within 24 hours of one another in the same area in Northeast Harris County. Eyewitness News at 10 begins in 30 seconds. We're celebrating 50 years of hard spicy chicken with a deal you'll love. Now for just $6.99, takes 50 years of crunchy, juicy chicken we've been serving since 1972. Get the five beats while you can for just $6.99. You can make a difference in the lives of thousands of kids in your community by donating your car to America Can Cars for Kids. Find us online at carsforkids.org. That's carsforkids.org. And write off the car, not the kid. Breaking news as we come on the air at 10. Four people are dead after a gunman opened fire inside the food court at a mall south of Indianapolis tonight. Police say the shooter is among the dead and was taken down by a good Samaritan who was armed and returned fire. Two people were also hospitalized. Right now, police do not have a motive. They also have not identified the victims publicly. The shooting happened hours after Texas lawmakers released a report on the deadly Robb Elementary School shooting. Broken. Broken all over again, like it just, like it just happened. If there's only one thing that I can tell you is there were multiple systemic failures. There's also a call to action in this report because systems are something that we can and must improve. Everybody's throwing everybody under the bus. The only ones that ain't under the bus is because they're six feet in the ground now, and that's our children. And the two teachers. Whatever I see in this report, it's not going to bring my son back. This needs to be the last time this happens to the school. Systemic failures and egregious poor decision making. The new report from state lawmakers shows the scale of, of the failures at play the day a gunman went inside Robb Elementary School in New Valley and killed 19 students and two teachers. Among the findings from the Texas House Committee, nearly 400 officers were at that school, but no one appeared to be in charge. The report also cites major lapses in school security measures. The House Committee spoke publicly today about the report this afternoon in Uvalde. And ABC 13's Maya Shea is live there tonight with more on that report and how the families of the students who were killed are reacting tonight. Maya? Well, the report is damning. It, it is so hurtful when you're reading through all of that and watching the video for these families. They're reliving that tragedy all over again. And they say they're okay with doing that if there were solutions presented, if there was a path forward to ensure that other families, other children, would not have to suffer similar fates. For that, they are still waiting. From officers making that initial entry around 11.36 to the 77 minutes that followed until the shooter was finally killed, the official release of the Robb Elementary School hallway video and the accompanying